Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3. I hope you guys are all having a good day. <laughs> These googly eyes, man, I swear. Anyways, today guys, we're going to continue building our infrastructure. There's a couple things we need to get set up in order to really, really get into auto crafting. And we're going to work on that today some. I also want to start planning out our new spawner uh, and all kinds of fun stuff. So remember guys, if you enjoy Sky Factory 3, Make sure you hit that like button, and it just shows support on the channel, I hope so, at least. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. Alright, guys, so, I, um, I have been making a little bit of cable. I made some emmy dense cable so we can have everything sort of, um, combined down here. I was kind of getting sick of the cluster, because there's all these conduits down here. And so today, we are going to fix this all, because your boy little bit annoyed so let's go ahead and grab all of this out of here i'm like i said i'm redoing all of this i want to be organized right off the bat so we ain't over here redoing stuff making things look ugly you already know the deal so grab all that all right same with this one you and you okay so what i'm thinking is let's see we're going to need a main power source over here um that's what this transceiver is for it needs to touch me uh with a power cable so i'm gonna put it right here for now i think let me get rid of the other cables there so that's got power um i mean it's not getting power from anywhere else correct no so it should probably die in a minute i think um so what we should probably do right away is come over here grab some conduit boom and let's go ahead get our power on so nice and neat so far nice and neat and um you know what i'm thinking i don't know if i want to have that automated setup there just yet or not anyways so uh let's see here i i'm assuming the easiest way to do this would be let's see Alloy smelter would go here, and then the sag mill would go there. All right, and then since that's a cable bundle, I can throw an item conduit on there. And then, so, let's check the configs on this. It's all nice and clean. None. And then, so we want to pull item bundle we want to insert and then over here we need to config this one to none and then uh push and then our item bundle we need to extract there we go uh then i will throw an export bus on this side with a cable there we go and then we'll throw an import bus on this side cable so that'll be our ore automation right that's done and then on the other side we will have the same thing but this will just be for auto crafting so we'll have uh how do i do it on this side i'll have them i'll have them lined up uh, across from each other so alloy smelter, mill, and then we'll have uh, our cable coming there to power it. So each of those are powered. And then rather than having, I am almost certain I can make this work. The reason why we put them in the back is because I don't think we have room. I think if I can fig this the correct way though, so pull, let's see, I'm gonna need a, a wrench. A wrench. Let's grab a Yeti wrench. And see, this thing has an arrow on it somewhere. There we go. So we'll point the, the thingy to that. Same with this one. There. And see, now it's cableless. Uh, well, not cableless, but you understand what I mean. So push, 
make sure the other side says pull config none uh, pull uh, push okay so that is all set up correctly and then so what was this the alloy smelter the alloy smelter had uh, these two and glass and then the, this one had dust so vibrant alloy craft go so these machines should be active and okay so the only thing i have left to do now is to um connect that back to the system how would i get that items how would i get those items out of there um i guess we could use export buses or no import buses import so i've got one there do i have any over here no import you you these pistons bruh i need to eventually get all this stuff autocrafted here you know what there we go pistons will no longer bother me suck it pistons there we go so those two so then boom and boom and then a little bit of a uh, little bit of conduit there so that and that and that and then so that should have pulled out I might have to config the front to pull out. Is that not? I guess you can't pull. Oh, it's not in uh, touching the system. Hold on. There we go. I might not even ha need to have that uh, like that. Let me let me order another vibrant alloy. Okay. So it should run through the first energetic. Yeah, there we go. It works just fine. Fantastic. Okay, so now that's all way nice and neat, way set up. Um, and I'm going to keep adding these into the system as we go along the sides. Um, another thing that I want to get set back up is the automation of dust, gravel, and ores, or gravel, ores, and sand. Um, we are going to need those, um, for different things like clay and stuff. So let's see, grab all of our hammers. We have three different sides we can use. So I'm thinking this side will be sand. This side will be grab or sand. That side will be dust. This side will be sand. This side will be, um, gravel. And we'll just, uh, give these power and pretty much run from there i think shouldn't be too big of a deal to set these up but that's going to help us make like clay and stuff in the future and where am i going to put this one though gotta be clever about this could just put it like right there uh could put it there can't really put it in the floor uh, could put it right there right here Something like that, probably. All right, so I'm gonna get that all set up, and when I come back, we'll move on. Okay, guys, uh, I actually kind of decided to redo things a little bit more, even more organized. I kept all the wiring that we had in here that we just did, but I decided to move the end pieces over to here. So that's all set up. I've got the conduit running. We'll use the paint machine to make blocks for that. So these are all making gravel and all the stuff that we talked about. Uh, so I want to grab some of this. And we have got power conduit coming through there. Um, I made a little bit more vibrant alley. Uh, so let's see. I need the ender chest that attaches to this one. I don't know. I don't know if I actually... I don't know um, 
I feel like I'm missing an ender chest. Let's see, I've got that one, then the one blue. Is there any in here? No. And okay, there's the other blue one I was looking for. Fantastic. So the game plan here is I'm going to reset up the quarry. So conduit. And we're going to use even higher power conduit now and make this thing blaze out of its mind fast. So there, there. Technically, this is what the center right here. Yeah. So we want um, we only need to attach power to one side. So there, there. And then. Um, let's see, how am I going to do this? I'll put the inner chest there, put the quarry there. Remove that. There we go. And then there, so it should get power from that. There, there, there. So now it's powered. Oh yeah, definitely powered. And then put the ender chest there. I don't know if I can actually, oh, I can't open that. What's that? Flax seeds. Does it, doesn't it say frozen ocean? Huh, that's neat. Why is it not collecting any more blocks? Oh, it's out of, out of power. Interesting. Okay. So I think. Aha! Found the issue. <laughs> I was like, I know I have power. Don't sit here and lie to me because I know I'm making like 29,000 RF per tick or whatever. Don't be that way, game. Yeah, much better. So that thing is. Jesus, that thing is fast, man. All right, so I'll have to cover all that back up, but that's good to go. So now that that's done, um, I want to can start working on moving these to their final spots so I can start crafting. Now we uh, let me grab some blocks here. We can probably go over like how much can we fit here? I mean, we could do a two there. They don't always have to be two by two is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Two there. See, that's that's a pretty big pathway in between there. Hmm. I guess that could work. We could run a set of dense cables on each side of these. So I just don't know if I have the crafting power for that. We would need 64 Ks. Let's see. We would need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we would need eight. 64k drives. Whew. That, my friends. Okay, so we <laughs> we're missing a lot. Can I make one? I'm missing. Okay, so inscribers are probably next. Then the only I'm gonna probably hide the inscribers too. I think. Yeah. Okay, so. The inscriber setup, right? It's going to be a little bit complicated. And I think I would feel more comfortable doing it off camera because I'm going to make it to where it's completely automatic. Typically, inscriber setups are pretty hard to do. Um, and typically, they're done to where you have to order one piece, order another piece separate. I'm going to hide it in the underbelly of this one. And I'm going to make it to where it's like one push, one talk, and it'll just be completely automatic. So. Uh, I'm going to work on that now. When I come back, I will fully explain what I've done to, uh, so you understand how I'm doing it automatically. Uh, when I come back, I'll show you. Okay, guys. The work is done. The deed is done. This thing took forever, but it's perfect. It's so good. So this is the beast. This is the automatic inscriber auto crafting. So let's talk about what we got here. So to make auto crafting for inscribers work, there's a couple different ways you can set it up. Um, the main way to do it is to tell the system how you want to craft things. 
So say I want to make this pure or this calculation processor. It needs to know a couple things. It needs to know the item that it's need needed to make it, and then it needs silicone to complete the process. So essentially what it's doing is it's shooting pure silicone into the chest along with silicone or pure and silicone into the chest. The pure goes in here, makes the printed processor. Then I have uh, another set of cables running through the farm here that's red. These are for silicone. Silicone gets injected into the chest right here. And we also have the silicone if we need it another way too. Uh, that shoots all the silicone into this thing and makes the silicone. These are all accelerated. Um, so then we have our middle machine here, which is the fast inscriber, the one that can do stacks at a time, sets automation. Uh, the top one has all three of the printed. The bottom, these are all export buses, by the way. Uh, the bottom has the silicone in the middle is set to redstone. This is an import bus to pull everything into the system. So, so for example, say I were to order a logic processor and I think it's this one right here. Yeah. So in this chest, it's going to shoot gold and silicone. The silicone is going to get taken out and put into here. The gold is going to go through the machine and make the processor. So processor, let's go ahead and make a, uh, engineering one there we go so if we come over here it's going to run through the system everything is going to get put into this thing makes the processor sends it back into the system it's all automatic completely done it takes a while to get set up but once you have it set up it's good to go um the one thing i had to remember to do was to put an energy acceptor here the one that we had before because this thing won't take power otherwise um other than that our auto crafting for inscribers or not the inscribers, but for the processors is completely finished. So now if I say wanted to make a 64 K crafting, it's going to be slow because it's using these. And I don't think these are accelerated, but, um, 64 K is done. So the only problem is it's going to make a buttload of processors to do it. So it's got to run through all of those. Man, that is a lot of processors. So, at least my, it seems like at least the processor system is decently fast. I mean, it's going fast. I, don't, I can't make it go any faster, you know. Keep going. Come on, baby. You can do it. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. All right, so it made a 64K. Um... So if I wanted to, to take this, I should be able to do that, that, then grab the 64K, put that there, put that there, there we go. So I was thinking once we throw a floor on this thing, I might put my auto crafting in uh, that one because there's already cable over here. But then again, I don't want to overload the cable. I don't know. Uh, what channels are being used on the cable. So um, let's go ahead and put that back there. Now, one thing we need to do to help this out is silicone. I've got 44 right now, but what is the recipe for this? Isn't there a sand recipe? Compressed sand, double sand. Is there not just a regular sand? I guess that's it right there. 50% chance. Is there not a 100% chance? I guess not. What else is there? Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Anyways, sand. So let's grab a piece of sand. Let's grab silicone. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if that's going to work the way I want it to or not. I don't think saying one for one is a good idea. We can try it though. Um, so let's come over to the sag mill. Put that in there. Now, silicone. See if this is gonna work or not. I wonder if it'll notice to work or not. Hmm. Anyways, 
So it made it that time. Yeah, let's try a bigger, a bigger test. Let's try like 10. Because I don't think it makes it every time. Huh. So out of 10, we got four. I wish there was a guaranteed way to make it. No, nah, even then it's all 50%. 80%, 80%. Hmm. All right. Well, that could be an issue. We might have to fix that later. What I might do is just, um, I mean, we're getting plenty of sand in the, in the system. Let's go. Let's do like a hundred. So I'll just like start stockpiling those. I think we actually got a lot done today. We moved the quarry. Uh, we got automation for our block set back up. The quarry is just absolutely beast moding right now. One thing we also need to get set back up is the Elorium. That I don't know what is one of these is the one that fills up the quarry upstairs. That might I think that's in the backside actually. Hold on. So that doesn't have any Elorium in it. That is not even connected to the system. <laughs> so we need a um Export bus. Let's grab one of those. Cable. And then. You. And then. You. Oh, okay, I need to grab a Eulorium ingot. There. And then we'll put that. And there. I'm pretty sure that's the one for the for the quarry. I'm actually starting to really like, or not up here. I'm uh, really starting to enjoy the quantum quarry. Yeah, it's starting to work. The only problem is we need to figure out something for these. All right, so that's staying full, which means power's running. And then the only other thing we need to do is I had to wait to build up some more ore. So, bauxite, let's see, copper, lead, nickel, copper, lead, nickel, silver, gold, uranium, and I've already got Eulorium. Then we're going to need capacity cards, grab two of those. And this will be for the automatic ore processing again. So, alloy smelter, capacity card. Okay. There we go. All right, so that'll catch back up in a minute. Continue to make all of our ores and stuff. So automation is on its way. It is, uh, it's getting there. I had to start voiding the cobblestone out again too because our system was completely full. But uh, once we get the paint machine, I'll refill these these paint walkways in. But our base is getting there. It's it's starting to turn into a beast. This thing is it's uh, it's alive. It's very good. So I think that's probably gonna do it for this episode of Sky Factor, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, obviously make sure you hit that like button. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out, guys.